Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of the Mark Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Friday, and I hope you guys have a great plans coming up for this weekend here. And it's uh, May 17th. We got uh, just a couple economic news releases today. Uh, we'll start off the day with the um, consumer sentiment for the month of May. We had a 76.4 rating uh, last month, and we figured it would kind of increase a little bit to 77.5, and it jumped all the way up to 83.7, so a pretty big jump right there. Uh, which basically means that the survey shows that people are feeling a lot better where things are going, where they're looking at. So uh, I don't know. I'm sure this is probably in a lot of areas, but I know looking around here, we've seen a lot of um, uh, buildings being put, uh, torn down and re being replaced with new ones with a lot of uh, commercial buildings being rebuilt, new businesses uh, developing. So uh, that's usually a pretty good sign that the economy is kind of picking up, uh, at least for my book. So uh Hopefully, other areas are seeing a lot more of that as well. Uh, the other item here is leading indicators uh, for the month of April. This just kind of gives us kind of the uh, the future ball, so to speak, of where the economy is going with orders and everything else. Gives us an idea as to where the economy might be moving. So last uh, month, we are back in March, we had a uh, negative rating, so it looked like it was going to pull back of a negative point one percent. But for April, they're projecting a point three percent growth and actually jumped up to 0.6 so good numbers there overall consumer sentiment look good leading indicators showing some very positive signs right there uh, so as a result basically um, stock markets up so uh, that's a good sign right there and then we got the bond market here on the other hand is uh, a bit down today so we're down about uh, let's see about about 18 basis points uh, from where we left off. So we have a little worsening in the pricing uh, today from where we left off yesterday. We had a nice little rally. We did pull back a bit. As you can kind of see, I drew this line here to kind of indicate the downward trend of the bond market here. And uh, we touched off a bit uh, yesterday and pulled back. And today we're kind of in that range. But if you also kind of look like we're not really in a trend yet, uh, it's a little early because of the say, but uh, also if you can see, we have some little bit of an upward movement here. At some point, when we reach these type of levels, it's going to break one way or the other side. My feeling it will be break out to the positive side for us, uh, maybe some probably yeah, as soon as next week. So when we get into these type of scenarios, you, you can't really go sideways. It will have to go one way or the other way. At some point, it's kind of give this crunch feeling. All right, folks. Uh, so unfortunately, as of right now, the rates are worse than where we left off yesterday. Uh, next week could be a better week uh, for us on the in terms of the bond market. But hope you guys have a wonderful uh, weekend coming up, and we will see you guys on Monday. Thanks for watching.